Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. Today we are going to discuss some viva questions on sterilization. Okay, uh, a very um, basic topic from general microbiology. Okay, and disinfection as well. So the theory part uh, or the theory videos are uploaded related to sterilization and disinfection. You can watch those videos on my channel. And even a viva question related uh, video on disinfection is also uploaded. Okay, so let's start with today's topic that is sterilization. So these are some MCQs or some general questions that you may get in competitive exams as well as in your viva question uh, in your viva exam. Okay, so let's start. So first question is the complete killing or removal of living organisms like bacteria, endospore, viruses and fungi is known as. So the correct answer here is sterilization. Okay. Other options are like verification, disinfection and sanitization. Those are incorrect options. The correct option here is sterilization as sterilization. We define sterilization as complete killing or removal of living organisms. Okay. Next is what is the name of the procedure performed under sterile conditions? Okay, the procedure performed under sterile conditions to eliminate contamination in hope to obtain pure culture of one type of microbe. Okay, so the options are sterilization technique, aseptic technique, disinfection and contamination. So we perform our experiment under aseptic conditions. Okay to eliminate contamination. So the correct option here is a septic technique. Then next is uh, the time required to kill 90% of microorganisms in a sample at a specific temperature is what? F value, Z value, decimal reduction time or th thermal debt temperature. So the correct option here is decimal reduction time. Okay. Then next is which of the following does not kill endospores? So options are autoclave, incineration, hot air sterilization and pasteurization. So the correct option is pasteurization as pasteurization does not kill endospores. Next is an autoclave uses which of the following method or uh, the principle of autoclave is which one? So autoclave uses steam under pressure. Okay, and the other options are incorrect, which are chemical method, ethylene oxide, and water under pressure. Okay, correct option is use it or the autoclave uses steam under pressure. Next is best method for antibiotic sterilization and best method for sera sterilization. Sera sterilization is what serum sterilization. Okay, so the method which we use is filtration. You cannot autoclave antibiotics or you cannot hit antibiotics or serum. Okay, even you cannot use radiations. So the correct option is filtration. Next is tindalization is a type of so options are intermittent sterilization, boiling, pasteurization, or sterilization. So tindalization is a type of intermittent sterilization. Okay, correct option is intermittent sterilization. Then brownies tube is used as an indicator of. So don't get confused here. The brownies tube is a chemical indicator and it is used for ster uh, heat sterilization. Okay, it is used as an indicator for heat sterilization. So there is a tube which contains a chemical uh, solution which is red in color and that is sensitive to heat. Okay, so on sterilization, the color changes. That is the basic. Uh, principle here. So the brownies tube is an chemical indicator which which is used for uh, or which is used as indicator for heat sterilization. Then which of the following is used to test the efficacy of sterilization in an autoclave? So we use uh, a bacteria that is Bacillus cereus, Bacillus plumilis, then Clostridium titani and Bacillus stereothermophilus. So the correct option here is Bacillus stereothermophilus. We use this particular bacteria to test the efficacy of sterilization in autoclave. Okay, these pores are used. Then the condition required for autoclaving. So the proper autoclaving is performed uh, at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Okay. 
the correct option is 15 minutes which of the following is most resistant to sterilization options are prions spores cysts or viruses so the option is prions as they are most resistant to sterilization then which of the following is not a physical method of sterilization so ethylene oxide then sonic waves, filtration, hot air oven, and UV rays. These are some uh, physical methods for sterilization. So the correct option is ethylene oxide. Okay, this is the uh, this is not a physical method for sterilization. Others you can see there is a hot air oven. Okay, then UV rays, then filtration, even incineration, or uh, sunlight is also a method physical method for sterilization and sonic waves okay so the correct option here is ethylene oxide it is not a physical method for sterilization then next is what is the temperature of hot air oven so the correct option is 160 degrees celsius for one hour or you may get an option of 60 minutes as well so that is same don't get confused you have to tick mark for 160 degrees celsius for one hour okay then pore size of commonly used nitrocellulose filter paper is so the options here given are 0.22 micron or my uh, micrometer then 0.5 micrometer then 10 micrometer or 10 nanometer okay if you have an option out of 0.45 micron then that is also correct but here the option is 0.22 so that is the correct option then which of the following is the chemical method for sterilization okay a chemical method for sterilization options are phenol and iodine then chlorzylenol then isopropyl alcohol 2% glutaraldehyde and ethylene oxide so the correct option is 2% glutaraldehyde and ethylene oxide are chemical methods for sterilization So we are done with this topic and I hope these questions are useful to you all. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel and do share my videos and share my channel with your friends and do recommend them to subscribe. Okay. So thank you for watching and all the best.